James Webb Space Telescope had been eagerly awaited before its launch last year. However, now that it's in operation, the telescope is starting to show information about the universe that is turning our understanding on astronomy upside down. It turns out that the latest pictures could actually prove that the Big Bang Theory did not happen. The scientific community has now been thrown into a frenzy. But how do the pictures disprove the Big Bang Theory? Has the James Webb Space Telescope really proved that the Big Bang Theory was wrong? Let's find out. With telescopes getting more advanced, they are also becoming more expensive. However, when you combine the James Webb Space Telescope with the most powerful camera ever made, the results are truly phenomenal. The telescope required millions of hours engineering with development, stretching over decades with costs reaching close to $10 billion. The James Webb Telescope was also an engineering nightmare because it required designing it to fit on a launch rocket. The telescope even had to fold in several places because no rocket was large enough to contain it. It was a nerve-wracking experience for scientists working on the James Webb. In addition to worrying about potential problems that could occur during launch, they also realized the telescope is virtually impossible to fix if anything went wrong. Despite this, NASA ruled the benefits of using the project outweigh the risks. It will give us a new understanding of outer space. The Big Bang has been well accepted in the world of astronomy thanks to how popular the show The Big Bang Theory is. It is often used as an explanation for how our universe came to be, yet there are still important details about it that need to be clarified for us. The Big Bang Theory was originally proposed by George Lemaitre, an astronomer priest who came up with this theory in 1927 and argued that there must be a single point from which the universe started and that the universe stretched and expanded to get as big as it is now. If things were moving apart, it meant that long ago everything had been close together at one point. The Big Bang Theory believes that the universe began with just hot, tiny particles mixed with light and energy. These tiny particles gradually collided with one another to form the stars and galaxies you see today. Those first stars created bigger atoms and groups of atoms, leading to more stars being born at the same time galaxies were crashing and grouping together in one chaotic cosmic show as new stars were being born in dying other objects like asteroids, comets, planets, and black holes formed dot all. But what if the Big Bang didn't happen? Although many scientists may not like this thought as the theory has become a staple of modern astronomy. A lot of scientists are finding it difficult to put the theory of the Big Bang in line with new findings. They have been used as an argument against it in some cases. The Big Bang theory is a fundamental theory of the universe. Now, many scientists are finding it hard to reconcile this theory with new findings. The problem is that the pictures show many galaxies which look small and old, but why exactly does this contradict the Big Bang theory? Let's take it from the small angle first. Given that the universe is expanding, a strange optical illusion has to exist. Most objects out there in space don't actually appear smaller and smaller the further away you look. At a certain point, they should start appearing larger instead. This is because more light leaves them the closer they are to us. This phenomenon is the opposite of what we observe in a non-expanding regular universe where objects appear to be getting smaller relative to their distance. Scientists who studied the JW images can't hide the fact that they show smaller galaxies and even galaxies with greater luminosity and mass than ours. Galaxies in these images seem to be two to three times smaller than in similar images observed with the Hubble Space Telescope. The newer galaxies also appear to show redshifts, which are two or three times higher. Previous research on expanding universes suggests they should behave entirely differently than this. If the universe is expanding and redshift is proportional to distance, then from what we know of the size of our galaxy and the galaxies seen by the just, this means that galaxies near us should be much smaller than those in deep space. However, the Big Bang theory implies that these faraway galaxies must be intrinsically minuscule to compensate for this optical illusion. 
One galaxy, the Jez2, which is at least 100 times more luminous than our Milky Way, however, it seems its calculated radius is only 300 light years, which is 150 times smaller than the radius of our Milky Way. It would have a surface brightness 600x brighter than the brightest galaxy in the local universe, and its density would be tens of thousands of times greater than that of galaxies we see today. There needs to be tiny, dense galaxies for the Big Bang to be true. The merger theory suggests to us that small galaxies grow into larger ones by colliding with each other. This leads to them merging as they become more spread out to illustrate this kind of merger. Imagine a magical toy car that is a centimeter long but weighs the same as an SUV. The JLST is a big problem for the Big Bang theory, even though it may seem convincing at first. One would expect to find at least some dents and scars in the colliding stars and galaxies, but there are none. The James Webb Space Telescope revealed overwhelmingly smooth disks and neat spiral forms. The oldest galaxies looked the same as modern galaxies. Data showed that images contained smooth spiral galaxies, 10 times more than anyone had predicted. I'm sure that we'll put an end to the idea that galaxies merging is a common occurrence because it's going against the merger theory. The thing is, galaxies can't get that big without merging. This means larger galaxies have always been immense, and they were never tiny. It also means the optical illusion predicted from the expanding universe hypothesis doesn't exist, which means the Big Bang theory is unlikely to be correct. The Gemio has many infrared filters that let you see faint galaxies. Young stars shine blue in the infrared spectrum and astronomers use this information to calculate their ages. Now the Big Bang theory implies the most distant galaxies shown the telescope images are appearing as they were some 400 to 500 million years after the origin of the universe. While those galaxies could have existed before the Big Bang, nothing could have come from before it. It would seem that in order for the Big Bang theory to be true, there would be a lot more galaxies at the older end of the timeline because there was no galaxy before it according to scientific consensus. The farther back James Webb Telescope looks into space, then theoretically, it should see fewer and fewer galaxies. However, they're still finding more giant galaxies. It has been shown that even a few hundred million years following the Big Bang, galaxies as massive as the Milky Way are ubiquitous. The new telescope images show at least 100 000 times more galaxies than theorists predicted at redshifts more than 10, and could so many large galaxies be created in such a small time frame. It is not likely, which means the Big Bang may have not happened. If the scientific establishment accepts that the Big Bang theory is flawed, then there has to be a new way to explain the universe's beginnings. One likely explanation is plasma filamentation. This process can actually be explained using physical processes common in the laboratory. Plasma is a gas that contains electricity and can be seen as most of the matter in space, including stars and the space between them. This theory tackles the diffusion of energy, one of the critical principles in plasmas. One theory is that this process occurs through plasma filamentation. This is the process by which electric currents and magnetic fields draw plasma into the lacy system of filaments that are visible at all scales in the universe. Plasma is one of the basic processes that led to the creation of planets and stars. It is also crucial in developing fusion energy artificially. The James Webb Telescope is just doing its job, opening our minds to new ways of seeing the universe, but it's also making scientists think about what happened if the Big Bang never occurred. Let us know what you think about the Big Bang Theory in the comments.